John Quarterman. John Quarterman, I live at 65 65 Quarterman Road, KNR, Georgia. Uh, that's the same farm I grew up on. Um, I grew up in 1921. I grew up in the We also have, um, we have the plant gas light pipeline which used to kiss nonstop 24 by 7. It's a long story, but I got to completely rebuild that with a soundproof enclosure where now you can't hear it. So uh, that probably cost them a bit of money, but it's a cost of doing business. If the project can't do that, then maybe it's not a cost of that. Uh, I'm also the Somali Riverkeeper, which is a project and staff position with Walls Watershed Coalition, Inc. Walls is a 501c3 nonprofit. We what we can to keep the waters clean in the Swanee River Basin, including the Little River and Slaughter Creek. Um, we're usually in favor of solar projects. We have a few concerns about this one, one of which I just mentioned. You know, solar projects obviously use less fossil fuel. They have much less water withdrawal. They should have no fertilizer. Level. But uh, some of them use, uh, and then when we see the uh, erosion plan, we'll know more about that. It should have no pesticides, but a lot of solar projects actually use pesticides to keep the grass down. Others use uh, browsing animals, such as sheep, to do that. And that's certainly a possibility. Of course, if they do that, they need to fence them back away from the waterways and use vegetated buffers. Speaking of vegetated buffers, on a tree survey map, it's good that on uh, plots three and four, there show several stands of tree, trees to be kept. On plots one and two, they're kind of contradictory. They have lines going to the same stands from both to be cleared for the project and existing vegetation to be kept for vegetative buffer. So, which is it? Okay, and um, so this could be a good project. We, it could be upland buffers to, to, to we would have to ask. Ways. We would have to ask you to close. Yes, I am. That's it. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Justin Frost. 